So where are we off to today, sis? Smiggle. We're going to Smiggle. Smiggle. To treat my sister. She's done something really good yesterday. And I promised her when she did this one thing, I was going to reward her. So now we're on the Smiggle run, yeah? So we are going to Smiggle right now. Let's keep it moving. Smiggle's very far. Well, far for you, not far for me, though. True. Hey guys, so we're in the pub out right now and we're gonna go to Smiggles. So I'll see you in a bit. I'm gonna wear this girl learn how to make introductions like that, like she'd been doing this thing from before. You know this girl had a YouTube channel. I had to take the Ross Clark thing down and delete it. My sister ain't having no YouTube channel. Yeah, you don't know your older brother's JY, isn't it? But maybe wait until you're about 13 or something. But you're eight years old, you're too young. Right, so as you just said, we just arrived now and we're just going to jump out the car, get a quick parking ticket and then we're just going to roll on to Smiggle. Look guys, doggies, they're really big. Yeah, but they can't see the dogs, no, no. Yeah, you can observe and admire the dogs from as far as you want, girl. But you ain't bringing no dog in my house, yeah? My house is a canine free zone. Anyway, we're going to go now. Right, so we're just waiting at the traffic lights right now. All right, it's red. Hand. Check the bling bling out. Enfield Town. Enfield Town. Ah, the memories of Enfield Town. I remember after school, I used to get on the 329 bus from Winchmore Hill straight down to Enfield Town and we'd be hanging around there for about an hour, hour and a half to there and Edmonton Green. Those were the two spots for me and my man then. Alright, so the girls said that Smiggle is next to WH Smith. It's WH Smith right there in front of us. Sorry. See that rascal man there? No manners, you know, just cut straight past me. To be fair, she did say sorry, so I, I let her off. There it is. See it there in the corner? Oh, yeah. Man, I had to get the, the binoculars out. The shop's so small, I couldn't even see the shop. Man, I was thinking that Smiggle was some big Toys R Us type of shop. Nah, the shop's small, man. Oh, I thought the shop was going to be big, you know. Shop is tiny. Do you know what? I thought Smiggle was a big shop. I thought it was like Toys R Us or something like that. It's just some tiny little um, stationery shop for kids. So pick whatever you want. No rush though, I'll spend five minutes looking, yeah? No rush, but you have five minutes. Sometimes I really need to listen to what I take up. That don't make no sense. You cannot go into a stationery slash toy shop with a child with all these nice, fancy, pink, glittery products and tell the child, no rush, but you got five minutes. Yo. 
hell is that girl doing making them funky noises in the shop? You like it? Most of the stuff in this shop is complete junk. No child needs a pencil case like that. Listen, go learn your damn book about fancy pencil case. You don't have to get one thing, get two things then. Yeah? So if you want that pencil case, uh, get that and then get something else, yeah? Look, she's in her element. Should never have told her, no rush, five minutes. Which one? That one there? This one, yeah? Too heavy. Yeah. Yeah, let's put it back here. Yeah? Up here? I really need to sort out my hands. I don't know why my hands are like this. They've been like this from day one. You know when I used to get arrested by the police? They wrote down a distinguishing feature about me. So for someone else, a distinguishing feature might be a tattoo on their neck. You know what they wrote about me? Burn marks on his hands. Burn marks. These aren't burn marks, you know. This is absence of E45. No, the other one. Yeah, that one. Put it back. Excuse me? I don't understand. Put it back. These children nowadays have no respect. Put it back, please. Now we're talking. Most of the stuff in this shop is aimed at little girls. All the pink and all the baby blue stuff, solely for girls. But what they done was to avoid complaints from parents. Some parents might go and say, well, there's nothing for my son. You know, there's nothing masculine there for my son. They added a few items that boys could like. Rucksacks with T-Rexes and footballs. You taking a piss? My friend, what time is the shop shut? So we are closing at five today. Oh. Yeah, because we're not making the sales, so they're just like, save the money because of this virus thing. Oh. They're like, we're not going to be sending you so much stock. This foolishness needs to stop. You know, I went into B&Q. B&Q, the hardware store. Not Tesco's or Asda or even Wilco's. B&Q, 
the hardware store. You know they are selling Andrex toilet paper in B and Q. This country's gone mad. We've got a couple minutes because they're gonna close soon. Closing early today, yeah. Yeah, you're gonna get that. What else are you gonna get? Wait, get your knees off the floor. I cannot stand to see children, boys or girls, kneeling or lying on the floor. Sometimes I go to supermarkets, I see children just spread out on the floor like butter. I feel like slapping the parents. Parents just walk past them, you know? Like they're chalk lying on the floor, like they don't even see them. Yeah, right Millie Turner, look out for her. Don't you dare put those knees on that floor, girl. Pencil and sharpness, it. We're going to need to make a decision now because the guy's closing the shop in a minute. Don't you want to get the lantern for the side of your bed? Yeah, Debbie, you can get both. You can get that pencil case on there. <laughs> this is the first one she's going to get something else. That's fine, man. You want to get that? Um, yeah. You sure you don't want to get the other one? Yeah, I'm sure. Okay, you want this? All right. After all of that, she didn't even get the damn blasted Ra's pencil case. She got another one. I'll put that. Whoop. Put that. Put that on the. Um, the what? The what? Boy, I may have to pick up their money there because I know I'm about to get ripped off. So I need to save every penny possible. All right, let's roll. Thank you, Jenny. That's all right. Hey, don't be baiting up my government name on this YouTube thing, you know. <laughs> Happy with you, what you got? Yeah. <laughs> right, so we just finished shopping at Smiggle. Let's see what we got. 
So we bought this. It's just like a lantern. My sister's gonna use it to light up her room in the night when she's sleeping. What else did we get? And I bought her this pencil case if the camera focuses. So I decided to treat my sister today. It's not her birthday. It's not Christmas, obviously. Why did I decide to treat my little sister? Well, you know I like to talk about bullies and standing up to bullies, yeah? So I'm not saying my sister was getting bullied in school, but there's a little girl in her class and she was giving my sister a little bit of trouble. Now, I discovered a video that my sister made months ago and she was upset. Now, most parents watching this will say, if a child is getting bullied at school, they must tell the teacher. Yeah. Now, if a child is getting bullied at school, they must tell their parents, guardians, older siblings at home. Yeah. I don't really believe in tell the teacher. You must inform your parents. Never keep anything from your parents if you're a child. Yeah. But all that informing the teacher, I don't really believe in that stuff. So I told my sister, because... Listen, children and adults will always face bullying throughout their life. Yeah? It's the inevitable. No matter how big and, big and gangster, how big and tough you think you are, there's always going to be someone who's going to try to test you. Yeah? And you can't always rely on you know, Big Brother Jay Wise to defend you or Mummy and Daddy to defend you. But you're going to have to defend yourself. Yeah? You might not necessarily have to get into a fight, but you're going to have to verbally defend yourself. Now, I told my sister something and she didn't want to do it. That's fine, yeah. But, you know, she was afraid of the repercussions. Oh, if I do something, then I might get detention. And I said to her, look, you're going to have to get detention. Would you rather get detention or get bullied? So she didn't really want to do what I said to do. So we came to an agreement. I said, well, next time she says something to you that you don't like, because you know she's going to, yeah, children don't just stop being bullies or, you know, you're going to have to tell her off and make sure you mean it. Even if you have to shout at her and point in her face, you need to tell her, don't speak to me like that or whatever. Yeah, you need to show this girl you're not someone to be messed with. So I said, next time she says it, which she probably will tomorrow or the day after, you tell her off and you flipping well mean it. Yeah. And when you do, I will treat you. Yeah, I'll buy you something you want. So she said, okay, let's go to Smiggle or whatever. Now, I've never even been to the shop before, but I heard it's like a stationary shop. There's me thinking that the shop's going to be like Toys R Us. There's some little shop you can swing a cat around in it. But anyway, so that was two days ago. And, well, it was two days ago when I had the agreement with her you know, at night time. The next day, I walked through the door after she got back from school and she said, oh, you owe me a present. I said, why? She said, because I told the girl off. And I said, good girl. Yeah? You know, man has stick to his you know, agreement, stick to the promise. But I said to her, don't get it twisted. Oh, do not get it twisted. This girl will try it again. Yeah? You know, some people are stupid, don't they? They just keep making the same mistake over and over again. You don't think you're going to be able to get away from bullies that easy. Yeah? But obviously, man had to, you know, stick to the agreement, innit? That's my sister. I'm a man of my word. So, yeah, that's why I took her to Smiggle. Now, there's a lot of parents, right? They'll watch this and be like, nah, don't allow the child to take matters into their own hand. Right? Sis, close your ears. Put your hands over your ears now. Yeah, and don't remove them until I say. You know, if I have a child, son or daughter, yeah, if I have a daughter and she's getting trouble from another girl, your hands over your ears, yeah? I will tell her, if she comes back home and says, Dad, I've you know been bullied by this person, you go back to school and the next time that person touches you, you slap that ch yeah, 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 in her face. Right, you can remove your ears now. Remove, remove your hands, you're right. Yeah? We ain't having no one take us for no, yeah? No one's taking advantage of us. Yeah, no matter how old you are or how young you are. Yeah. So a lot of parents, they'll watch this and think to themselves, all right, cool, you know, I will send my child to martial arts so they can defend themselves. You see all that martial arts business? 
It's nonsense. Yeah. Don't send your child to martial arts because you want them to learn to defend themselves. I know that sounds like, you know, contradictory. Like, Jay, you've been practicing Taekwondo for 20 years. You see, defending yourself, it's all in your mind. Yeah, you can learn all the MMA, Krav Maga, yeah, all them techniques, all submissions. You can learn that all you want. There's always going to be someone out there who's got better technique than you, who will mop the floor with you. I'm a second damn black belt in Taekwondo. I've been practicing 23 years. There's a man out on road that will knock me out. No problem. So all that martial arts and learning how to defend yourself, yeah, that's all right. But there's always going to be someone who's tougher than you. Yeah? Or you might be outnumbered. Defending yourself is up here. Yeah, It's got nothing to do with your fists. It's up here. Yeah, Having that mentality, no one is going to take us for no idiot. Yeah? Now, bullies, as man said in that video talking about bullies, yeah? bullies aren't just you know overweight children in school. Who are big and yeah. Bullies come in all different shapes and sizes. Bullies could be your mum, your dad, your older siblings, even your younger siblings, your boss at work. Some friends bully each other as well. Other family members. Me teach my sister from young, from day one. Anyone mess with you, you need to be willing to stand toe to toe with this person. Even if you get detention. So what? So what? We ain't raising no, no weak people out here. You know that little girl that's giving my sister trouble? I don't even have no resentment towards her. I don't. Listen, it's natural human behavior to bully people. It's not natural for me. I ain't no bully. But it's natural for humans. Remember, you have to remember, we're animals, you know. I know people might think that, yeah, oh, well, hi, my. We're animals. Yeah, just because we don't swing from trees no more, we're still animals. And animals in the wild, they naturally bully up and dominate weaker people. Yeah. My sister, she's a little princess, isn't she? She ain't rough and tough like that. So I know naturally people them are, are gonna, you know, try and take advantage of her, it? and it's up to her to defend herself. It's not up to me. I can't always be there to defend my sister. But I can't always think, oh yeah, I'm gonna go down to that school. I wanna go down to this place here. Her parents might always be around to yeah. You can't rely, oh call the police, forget the police. When you have that mentality that no one, anyone tries a thing on you, yeah, you're gonna, you're gonna stand toe to toe with them. You give off that energy where people won't even wanna try you. Not all the time. Yeah, no one's impervious to this thing, innit? But you give off that energy, and that will ward off people even trying a thing on you. Yeah, so I need to treat, teach my sister from day one. You need to stand up for yourself, car. Big brother here is not always gonna be here to defend you. Yeah, you need to. You know, stand up for yourself. Obviously, you can't win every battle. It's not about winning battles. The man said in that video, it's not about winning battles. It's about standing your ground. Making people know, okay, if you test me, we're going to go toe to toe. You might win, but I ain't going down without a fight. The man said in that video about bullies, about that guy that moved house because he was getting trouble from his neighbour. Right, so you've moved house. Right, you think that's going to solve your problems? There'll be another bully, and another bully, and another bully. You can't run away from bullies all the time. You have to stand up to bully. You have to face bullies head on. Because you know, when you have that fear in you where you just, you know, they call it fight or flight, and you always flee, you give off that energy to people that, yeah, you ain't, you, you ain't tough. Don't mean you have to be a bad man, but I ain't willing to stand my ground. I ain't willing to stand toe to toe with someone. So we have to teach children from day one, stand up for themselves. Now, you know me, uh, you know what I promote, I don't promote like serious like violence, but yeah, sometimes you have to throw the first, yeah? That's what I'm saying, cause I got my sister in the car in it, but I already told my sister, you know, what she should do. And yeah, she didn't want to go that far. And I said, okay, cool, but you need to tell this girl off. You need to make sure this girl knows, okay? I can't play with her. I know she's going to say something else. The girl even said something else today and she, my sister went fired back at her. People need to know. Yeah, you can try a thing one more time, two more times. Every time you try a thing, I'm firing back. I'm firing back. I ain't backing down. You ain't taking me for no... Yeah. We, ain't, we ain't no one's victim out here. We ain't no one's victim out here. Win, lose or draw. We're going to have this thing out. So, yeah. I just thought, you know, man, I take my sister out and... Obviously, treat her for standing up for herself, wouldn't it? 
So sis, you know, in the future, you know you have to defend yourself all the time, every time, yeah? Don't let no one take advantage of you, yeah? Alright. Alright. Home time now. Let's keep it moving. Stay wise.